Were there any extra assurances that had to be given to maybe the guys coming in on the offensive side of the ball when, you know, you've got a new guy that's going to be in charge of this in terms of, uh, of Doug? You know, I, I think there were there were a lot of fair questions that when that happened were asked. But I think when Doug was hired and obviously his background is his, in his credentials, everybody's like, okay, this is we're, we're in good hands. And, and I, you know, and I think Doug's background and, and the success that he's had, and then once you get to know Doug and all of you, I'm sure at some point in time, gotten to, gotten to be with Doug, understand that you know the energy, the enthusiasm, and what he's going to bring to the table. Yeah, you can see how that'd be very calming to a recruit. What kind of fit has he been uh, on the recruiting trail for you, Doug? Tremendous. And what what region does he have now? Uh, we haven't actually decided that yet, so we're we're in the process of working through all that. I mean, obviously, he was in hired he was hired right in the middle of the recruiting season. We had a lot of things that we had to take care of, and, and you know, the benefit of having the class intact since August was we got a chance to get out in those two and a half weeks that we were live recruiting and obviously get out and see a lot of 15 and 16 kids and, and, and get in front of those kids and get ahead of the game. So we got a lot of work Doug and or done and Doug was a big part of that. Does he just bring in all the relationships he has, like guys he was recruiting in Alabama and instantly those oh, are your, yeah. your guys? Yeah, and, 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 and understand something. You, you know, you're bringing a, a, a man with a, a tremendous amount of resources. And we're adding to the resources that we already have. And so obviously he's going to open up doors. He's got different perspectives, different ideas. You know, I mean, he's, you know, obviously with Alabama and Nick Saban, you, you, you have, uh, you know, a tremendous recruiting machine there. He was with Steve Sarkeesian at Washington, who's a tremendous recruiting machine. You know, we have a very good recruiting machine going right now. So you're bringing all those experiences in. You're bringing all those ideas. You're bringing all those perspectives in. So, you know, we're changing. And if you're not changing in this game, you're falling behind. And if you're falling behind, then that's not good. So he brought you in some things that you guys hadn't thought about before? Heck yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. I mean, because, you know, I mean, they, they do things differently. Sark does things differently now at USC. He's doing things differently at USC than he did when he first went to Washington. This is an evolving game. When you ask me about social media, it's an evolving game. And if we're not evolving with the game and trying to stay ahead and, and, and trying to stay current, then, then you fall behind because somebody else is going to leapfrog you. And, and so Doug has obviously added to that and, and been very positive in that. Looking ahead toward recruiting for the next couple of years, do you have you already noticed with Doug, I mean, just specifically a little bump in, in interest from kids? or you know, He's got a pretty good reputation as a recruiter. He, he does. He does. And, and I don't know if I've, if I've noticed a bump or if we've noticed a bump. I think at Michigan, you know, when we walk in the door, everybody has interest. We're one of the schools that everybody, when we walk in and everybody says, you know, I know Michigan. I know the Wayne Helmet. I know the Block M. I know the Big House. You guys are on TV all the time, you know, and so I, I think from that standpoint, uh, I don't know if it's necessarily a bump, but I think, uh, you know, obviously his experiences and the success that he's had, people know who he is. And, and so they're like, yeah, you know, you guys just hired the offensive coordinator, Coach Nuss, you know, so I think there's a very positive thing to that going right now. With Peppers, has he made it clear that he wants to be multidimensional at Michigan? I mean, and right I, you, away? You know, what, you know what, obviously I don't know the talks that Coach and he have had one-on-one. Mm -hmm. -on -one. You know, I, like, like Coach said, and I think that's true for all these kids, okay, let them come in. There's a transition period now. They're going away from home. They're going away from their high schools. They're going away from everything they've known for 18 years, and they're coming into an unknown situation. Let them get their feet on the ground. Let them develop, and, and let them go at their own case. If, if he's ready, then, I, you know, we, we'd be foolish, right? When Charles was ready, right, okay, so let, let him show us when he's ready. And, 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 you know, I'm, I'm sure his roles will be defined by, by what he's ready to do. Is there extra pressure on uh, you guys in a year like this when it's 16 scholarships rather than 10, 12 more? There's always pressure. This is a business filled with pressure. And, and so, no, there's no added extra pressure. And, and if you approach it that way, that's when you tend to make mistakes. That's when you make bad decisions because you feel you have to do something. Look, we have a set of core values. And I think the one thing that's really good about Coach Oak is he's laid the groundwork and said this is who we are, and we're not going to waver from who we are. These are the athletes that we recruit. We're looking for students. We're looking for obviously very good athletic uh, background, but we're looking for good people and good families. And so from that from that standpoint, you know, there's no there's no any added extra pressure. Then I mean, there's always pressure. We're at Michigan. As a receivers coach, what do you like about this group? Uh, athletic ability. Athletic ability, I, and I and I think you know when you look at last year's class and the three that we added, and you look at this year's class and the three that we added, they're different. 
and, and, and you don't want carbon copies of each other out there because then you get tied into just having one guy. Uh, they're different. You know, they're more, they're, they're a different type of athlete. You know, Drake being a basketball guy, obviously he's got a different skill set than all the other guys. He, he's, got a, he's got very fluid movements and, and very natural ball skills to be able to go get it. You know, I think Freddie's got speed. And, 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 you know, Freddie being one of the guys that you look at and say, you know, okay, when you watch him, you're like, wow, he can move. And, and he's got a competitiveness to him. And, and, and Drake does too from the standpoint of, you know, I mean, you're looking at a guy that played AAU all the way through and traveled around the country. You know, and obviously he was a major division one recruit in basketball, so you know he's got a competitiveness to him. Mo is a kid that said, you know what, I'm just as good as him, and I'm going to prove it. No, you guys didn't rank me high, but I'm going to prove that I'm just as good as him. And so he's got a chip on his shoulder. And, 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 you know, he's a big son of a gun now. When he walks through that door, you know who he is now. And, and, and he's got, uh, you know, he lights up the room. And so, and then, and then you look at the way he played as a senior in high school. And, man, I'll tell you, you're looking at somebody that's just on the rise right now, and you feel really good about, man, you were, okay. Everybody had questions when we went into the spring. We felt really good about him. That's why we offered. And now all of a sudden you look at it and say, okay. Man, you can tell he's working hard and he wants to be good, and all of them want to be good. Well, that's why Freddie and Drake are here early, because they want to play and they want to be good.